Hi, I'm Bill Gates, chairman of Microsoft. Ten years ago, most computers weren't personal, and they certainly weren't sold in a computer store like this one. The introduction of the IBM PC, along with Microsoft's MS-DOS, has changed all of that. Today, over 70 million users are able to take advantage of the power of the PC to help get their work done. Before, every manufacturer had its own incompatible operating system. But today, over 200 manufacturers offer MS-DOS-based systems that are fully compatible, providing users incredible freedom of choice. Visiting a computer store is a great way to see the variety that competition within the PC industry is providing, whether it's in printers or in systems. We have available low-cost systems, our very high-performance systems, our systems that are optimized to work in the network environment. This competition is also leading to a rapid pace of innovation. For example, this portable computer here, that's only seven pounds, is over 10 times as powerful as the original PC. A key to such innovation is the improvement made in chip technology. The Intel microprocessor chips that are used in all these computers get over twice as fast every two years. So what this means is that during this decade, we'll have a computer that's even smaller than this one and yet provides over 10 times the speed while compatibly running all of the same software. The software industry has been transformed by the popularity of the personal computer. Today, software companies invest millions and millions of dollars writing packages that they can sell for only hundreds of dollars because of the large number of potential users. This has led to there being over 20,000 different packages that perform all variety of tasks. The rapid changes brought by the PC have definitely disrupted the business of traditional computer suppliers. We read all the time about how they're having to reorganize in order to meet the needs of this new market. But the key is that the beneficiary of all these changes are the users of these machines. The biggest change taking place in software is the move to the graphical environment. Microsoft made an early commitment to the graphical approach because we saw that it offered many significant benefits. One of those is making applications easier to learn because they all work the same way. Another is that you actually have less commands and you can see what's going on because you use pictures instead of text. You can see right on the screen exactly what you're going to get when you print your documents. And this is sometimes referred to as WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get. Another key point is the idea of integration, moving data easily between applications. We reached a major milestone in our Windows crusade with the introduction of Windows version 3. We brought out Windows version 3 over 18 months ago, and it's really amazing that over 5 million copies have been sold. Windows version 3 was a breakthrough because it eliminated the memory barriers that Windows had had in the past. And with this success, we now have all the major software companies focusing their development work on writing Windows applications. What we've seen is that over a third of the packages being sold for DOS today are based on Windows. We sell a software development kit which helps people write these applications and over 60,000 of those have been purchased. Even more exciting is there's a new class of development tools that are even easier to work with that mean that not only professional software companies, but actually companies themselves building applications for their own internal use will be able to build applications. But with this wave of applications and all these benefits, we see that millions of users will be making the transition into the Windows environment. And so we've had to come up with some clever new ways to help support that transition. Okay, 
get you civil consoles. Hold down the golf key, type in one dollar key three. Okay, good. Thanks for calling Microsoft. Bye bye. We're here at Microsoft's product support facility with one of our support engineers, Joe Long. Hi, Bill. The success of Windows 3 has really challenged our support group. Joe, how many calls do we get every day? We're getting about 2,500 calls a day, although we've noticed that this, it's been going down recently. We've more than doubled our staff to deal with this demand. I know we get a lot of uh, calls on different topics, but are there a few areas that it concentrates in? They call up how to get Windows set up and how to run it once it's running. The calls generally focus on printing, setup, networking, and running DOS-based applications. Well, when you have over 5 million users, you get an immense amount of feedback. And in fact, we're using that feedback in order to define the next release of Windows 3.1. It refines all the aspects of the product to make it even easier to use. Joe has a pre-release version on his machine. Uh, let's let's take a look at this. Um, show me the uh, new file manager. Okay, here it is. Um, the file manager has some improvements over the uh, 3.0 file manager. You can view more than one directory at a time, and it's much much faster. And let's also uh, show how we put a new drag and drop facility in. You can drag a document onto an application, and it'll start that application with that document running. Another thing I'm, I'm excited about is this addition of TrueType to make uh, working with fonts a lot easier. Uh, can we go ahead and, and increase the size of that and, and show off the TrueType? Sure. Let's change this non-TrueType font to a very large size, such as 72, and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so that's, that's without TrueType. Let's pick a, a TrueType font and see how it looks with that. Okay. We'll pick... A Times New Roman, size 72, much better. Okay, so TrueType actually makes those things look, uh, look good at, at any size. Another thing that I think is very exciting is this uh, uh, application integration through object linking and embedding. Uh, can we see an example of that? Sure. I'll just take a picture from the file manager and drag it into the right document and here it is. That means we can double click on this icon to view the picture or to change it and it starts up paintbrush, puts us in paintbrush and here's the picture. And Now we can change it however we like. And We go back, we save the changes and the changes are made to this icon right here. So all, all you have to do to get back to that those changes is double click right there and it'll, it'll take you there? Exactly. Oh, and here we are. That's great.